there's a lot of people excited about this ready to run. Let's see if we can find out why. Here we go, the FCX18 K10 ready to run on the workbench. I think a lot of people were looking forward to this truck because they've had the K10 body before. It's a great looking body. FMS does these things up right. Uh, it's just the chassis underneath didn't perform as well. I mean, it was very scale-like. However, you know, when people want to go off-road these things, it would often hang up and uh, I actually blasted mine around, had a lot of fun with it. But what they did is they made it up to the FCX18 platform and that's what you see in the background too. Uh, it has Land Cruiser body on it and a lot of people are raving about the 18 scale platform. It just works really well. They did a great job, which I'm going to show you some of the features it has in a little bit. But let's take a look at the outside first. Obviously, again, they've got the K10 body on it. They have three different colors to choose from. Love the red, the yellow is cool too, and then the black and red. I, I don't know, which one do you guys like the best? Let me know in the comments section below. These things have the opening hoods on them, the chrome grills, chrome bumper, front and back. Chrome mirrors as well, LED lights as you would expect from FMS. And there's a little change to that. Maybe I missed a, a previous update, but you could actually shut off the turn signals when the, uh, the the wheels turn, so that's cool. But they have the high beams, the low beams, they have the turn signals or hazards and you could shut it off. Uh, there's even brake lights. So when you slowly put the thing into brake, those lights will illuminate. So all the cool stuff, including the, the side markers, windshield wipers, door handles, and the fold down tailgate. It's just this one doesn't have the full interior they have the dashboard and steering wheel in there but uh, they don't have the seats or the, or the floor or anything like that the other thing you need to know about the exterior of it is there are new wheels and tires so they have a larger diameter tire than the previous k10s so the tire is a mud terrain style and i gotta call this out guys it's a buff good richer tire <laughs> It's just uh, an interesting name. Uh, they, they come up with some really interesting names for some of their stuff, but uh, the tire looks pretty good. I don't think there's a foam insert on the inside, just the way it feels, but the chrome wheel is a B-lock style, so you can take it apart. Now, let's go and check out the inside. I've gone ahead here and uh, unscrewed this body. One more thing just to mention about the body, because of the chassis underneath, they did have to go and cut out the bed to clear the rear shock towers. Just wanted to point that out. That's the only, you know, least scale thing on the outside. There's the underside of the body. So you can see all the wiring is nicely tucked away. And the windows are actually tinted a little bit more on this one because you don't have the interior. Now this probably looks kind of familiar. It's the FCX18 chassis. However, it's got some new frame rails. These are obviously way longer than the previous version. Uh, that's because the wheelbase is, is longer than the Land Cruiser. And the, the rest of the components in the center are pretty much the same. You know, you got your cross bracing, shock towers, uh, the battery mounts up front with the little rubber strap to hold down the pack. The body is hard mounted with screws. So once you put this thing on, the only access is through the opening hood to access the battery pack and the on off switch uh, but let's move on to the suspension this one too has their oil filled coilover shocks with the threaded body so you can adjust the preload collars if you want to adjust the ride height at all i mean they're they're pretty much all the way at the top and there's no droop to this but really like the linkages that they're providing now these are metal links they even have their length etched on them so the fronts are the front lowers are 38.2 rear 72.2 millimeters and actually the, the rear uppers are 60.8 so they have the plastic y link up front so it's a three link style up front and then the four link in the rear but the suspension so much better now that they have oil in these from the factory all the pivot balls are metal as well so some good stuff with the suspension carried over from the other fcx 18 onto the drivetrain this one has portal axles so you know, not very Chevy-like. However, they do work well for off-roading. You know, they give you the extra ground clearance, less torque twist, but uh, the transmission has ball bearings in it, metal gears in the portal housings, CV shafts up in the front, and the ring and pinion gear are the plastic versions in here. I pulled the cap off so you guys can see that. Long center sliders uh, extended in the rear, of course, but the one thing that bothers me a little bit is because of this new length, it looks like this shaft might wobble around a bit more than the, uh, the shorter wheelbase versions. Um, I don't know if it's gonna wreak havoc on that rear pinion. You might wanna upgrade to metal gears just to kinda combat that a little bit, but just definitely something to look out for. Something I wanna point out to you guys. Then the transmission. The, the trans People love this transmission. 
two speed it's got the low gear for a nice low crawl high gear this thing will boogie like a 10 scale model so definitely a great transmission in this and then let's move on to the the steering up front they've got the metal links just wanted to point that out and the servo saver still again it helps protect that servo for any newbies that are just plowing into rocks and stuff like that and uh, let's get into the, the electronics now. So they got a micro servo up front for the steering, uh, no label on that. And then they've got a V6 version ESC speed controller combo unit, tons of plugs on there. So you can plug in all the LED lights as well as the servos. There is your shifting servo right behind it. But uh, I think maybe the V6 model gives us that ability to have the, the brake lights and uh, have the turn signal shut off. Um, I don't know much more on it. So if you do, let me know, let us know in the comment section below. Love to know more about that. And then for the motor, they've got the Power Dash 180 50 turn. So that's got a nice long can, plenty of torque there. Uh, also included in the kit, they give you the V5 radio. There it is right there. It's got the dip switches on top, so you could alter the drag brake and you got all of your tuning functions for your steering trim, throttle trim, dual rate, all that good stuff. Uh, the button on the base switches the different light modes. And then this uh, switch up top on um, channel three, that is for your two-speed transmission. Uh, they give you a USB charger, of course, and then they've got a little bag of some hardware and some additional license plates. Looks like they gave you uh, two of each, so you got something for the front and rear. But yeah, they definitely nailed it with this long wheelbase truck. It's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. Okay guys, just finish up the FCX10. If you haven't seen that video, definitely head there after this video. I'll put a link at the end, but right now we gotta talk about the FCX18. And look at this little beast go. That long wheelbase helps it out in certain situations and in others, well, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let's talk about the high-low transmission, which is what everybody loves about this. That is high gear, full throttle. Spin it back around, go down the hill. So this thing definitely moves. Then just flip the switch over into low gear. And I'll show you the low speed crawl. There's reverse. And there is full throttle in low gear. So just a nice slow crawl. And then we can just back down on the throttle and get really scale with it. That looks pretty cool. The other thing people love about the FCX18 is the portal axles. Look at that, plenty of clearance over that rock. No problem. Let's talk about the one issue I have with the wheelbase and that is the turning radius. It's much wider than the Toyota. This is with the dual rate turned all the way up. Definitely a lot of K turns in the future with this truck.
Let's talk about the other minor issue I have with the truck, and that is with the rear trailer hitch box. Sometimes when you go up these inclines, that box will catch like it almost just did there, and it just uh, hangs you up. You know what, let's just wrap up things here by the river. So I had a great time driving the new K10 with the FCX18 chassis, much better than the previous version. It's got its own different set of challenges, like the original had the very low ground clearance to it, so you catch a lot of stuff. Here, you got some ground clearance with the portal axles, just the way the suspension set up, which by the way, the suspension works awesome with the oil-filled shocks, as we knew on the Toyota. But the new issues with this is you, you gotta watch your CG. It's a bit higher, so if you kind of side hill and stuff, it'll wanna roll over on you, especially with those tires. They just kind of give out at awkward moments. But the tires themselves, I think they do need an upgrade. Uh, the, what do they call them? The Buffer Goodricher, whatever they were. Uh, just didn't have enough traction here on the rocks that were clean. Uh, th there's a lot of silt on some of it, but I just found the wheels spinning. So it's probably just fine for bashing around, having fun in the home and stuff like that. But if you start really crawling this thing uh, beyond the, the scale aspect, you're gonna wanna swap out the tires, add a little bit of weight, maybe get some brass rings in there. The steering's diminished a bit on this because of the longer wheelbase, so you definitely gotta pick your lines a bit better. Overall, I love the look of the truck. I, I love the changes that they made to it. Two-speed transmission in this is just a big selling point for people. It's got the power on the high end, low end, got a good crawl to it. Overall, a really fun truck. Awesome to see it from FMS. All the links are down in the video description below. See you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.